Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Today our lecture is about the soil mechanics. This problem is taken from the soil mechanics books in which we have to find the total stress at the different points. This is in the soil which is three different layers. The first layer has a thickness of 4 meter and it has a unit of 18 unit weight of 18 km per cubic meter. The second layer of the soil has a thickness of 5 meter and it is the unit weight of 17 km per cubic meter. And the third layer of the soil has a thickness of 6 meter and it has the unit weight of 19 km per cubic meter. And we have to find out the stress at point A which is 2 meter from the top of the soil and the stress at point B which is at 4 meter from the top of the soil and it is the bottom of the first layer of the soil. Then the stress at point C which is the bottom of the second layer of the soil it means to find out the stress here at this point which is 9 meter from the top and to find out the stress at point D which is 3 meter from this second layer of the soil from the bottom of the second layer we have 3 meter distance so we have to find the stress at all these four points now to start with the total stress so we can use this formula to find out the total stress so the gamma t is the unit weight of each layer unit weight of each layer while the z is the thickness or the depth of each layer so by multiplying the thickness of each layer with its unit weight we can find out the stress at any point in summation of all these values we can get the total stress at any point now I will solve this example to find out the stress at each point so starting with the stress at point A which is 2 meter from the top of the side so stress at point A it will be equal to the gamma t the, thick, the unit weight of the soil at this layer which is 4 meter thickness so at the 4 meter with the 4 meter thickness of the soil layer we have a unit weight of 18 km per cubic meter so we can write gamma 1 multiplying with the z and z is the point where we point the distance from the top of the soil to the point where we have to find out the stress so at point A the distance is 2 meter so multiplying it with the h1 or we can say gamma 1 is 18 here kilonewton per cubic meter multiplying it with the h1 which is 2 meter here in this case so meter and meter will be cancelled cubic meter so we will remain with multiplying the 18 with 2 we get 36 kilonewton per square meter so this is the unit of the stress so one meter has been cancelled with this meter so we we obtain with the stress value of 36 kilonewton per cubic meter square this is the stress at this point which is A now how to find the stress at point B it's also very simple stress at point B will be equal to the the unit weight of the soil and the thickness of the soil layer so the unit weight of the soil at point B it means the, this, this layer is a thickness of 4 meter so it is the unit weight of 18 so at point B we have gamma 1 again multiplying it with the h now in this case the thickness or the z value is equal to the 4 meter because it is the distance from the top of the layer up to the point where we found out the stress so at point B the distance is 4 meter so we get the value of gamma 1 is 18 multiplying it with the 4 we get 72 kilonewton per square meter now how to find the stress at point C it's a little bit complicated so stress at point C will be the stress from the above and the stress of this another layer so it will be the stress at point B 72 and adding with the this layer this is the stress at the, from the top layer and then adding with the this layer which is from this top of from this bottom of the second layer up to this point which is C which is 5 meter so we have here gamma 2 
multiplying with the h2 where 72 and adding with gamma 2 here is 17 multiplying with the h2 where in this case the h2 is the distance from this point from this bottom of the first layer to the bottom of the second layer which is 5 meter so here 5 meter so by adding and multiplying these values we get 157 kilonewton per square meter now similarly how to find the stress at point D we know the all the stress value on the top of this this third layer so 157 we know that the stress value at this point is 157 and adding with the this value up to 3 meter from the bottom of the second layer so gamma 3 multiplying it with the h3 where h3 in this case is the distance from this bottom of the second layer to this midpoint of the third layer which is 3 meter so 157 adding with the r3 is 19 here and multiplying with h3 which is 3 meter so by adding and multiplying this value we get 214 kilonewton per square meter so this is the stress at point D now how to draw the stress value here with the corresponding layers and corresponding points if I draw this the reference line so from the start it will be zero because there is no load acting on this side so it will be zero so the stress at point A it will be 36 and this stress at point B it will be 72 and this stress at point C it will be 157 and at point D we have the stress value of the D at this point with the stress value of 214 so we can write it here 214 similarly this stress width will increase with the depth because stress always increases with the depth of the soil but we don't know this value we can easily find out by multiplying the all the above value and adding with the the stress below this point so hope you guys understand how to find the total stress at any point in the next lecture in the next video I will I will show that how we find the poor water pressure and also how to find the effect of stress at any point so please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering values and don't forget to subscribe our channel